Hello everyone, Seth right here with more Final Fantasy XII. As you might recall, we uh, got to the Giza Plains and uh, we met up with Pinello. We're supposed to go find the kid named Jin. I already know where the kid is. Um, so we're going to move along here. Hello, Intrigue. I will uh, do that thing you asked me here in a few moments. Uh, on some... Yeah. As you can see, Vaughn has a shield now, but we still have that shitty little dagger, because I apparently do not, I'm not able to buy any mazes till later. Or rods. And you got the earth tricks here. Yeah, three hit combo. Allow not silly. Speaking of not silly, everyone, silly apparently has a f really high fever and is not feeling well, so please send your well wishes his way. We need him to feel better so he can play FF11 with us. And Monster Hunter. And every other game that we play together. It's purely for selfish reasons for me. And I suppose for him. So those two games don't exist, Payment. Sorry, these monsters are here and they need to die. Just because you guys haven't seen them yet, that's why. This Slavin. When I first fought a Slavin, I was able to kill it, but it, uh... Killed Pinello. So Pinello is a white mage. Um, unfortunately I don't have any rods or anything for her to use. <laughs> Mocha Bean. Okay, so, but Penella, I can at least tell her to do cure every now and then. The thing about FF12 versus FF10 or 10.2 is all your spells seem to be AoE. <laughs> Hello, Ursatrix. That's right. Hello, Hyena. Guess I'm supposed to respawn. Not this quickly. Alright. So with those things all cleared out, let's move down to the next map. And that's where we are then connected to the map that uh, has the kit on it. There's a geezer rabbit. I'm not gonna fight the geezer rabbits, they're annoying as shit. You hit them once and they run away. But there, look down there, you see that? Those are werewolves. Werewolves are assholes, they'll kill me. Very quickly. Where he, hyenas have like 120 health. Werewolves have 2,500 plus health. Hot. 
2,548. They're not fun, they are jerks. And they can one-shot me. So there's that. Hello Marcel! Welcome back! It's good to see you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. So I purposely did not run to this map before. Just because I didn't want to activate any of the, uh, any of the story. We'll save here, sure. Yeah, my name is Jin. What's it to ya? Masuya wants you to come back to the village, huh? Hmm, that could be a problem. Let's see, my legs... Maybe my legs better now. No, no good. Still hurts. I tripped running from some monsters. Guess I pulled something. I'm never gonna get any sunstones made like this. I just needed to make one more to be finished for today. I didn't even want... I didn't want to head back short, so I thought I'd give my leg a rest and try again. Why are you out here looking for me anyhow? So you need a sunstone, huh? Well, if Masuya doesn't mind, I can give you a shade stone, but I'm not sure I can walk with it. You'll have to turn it into a sunstone, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell you how. You do know that we use dark crystals and shade stones to make sunstones, right? There's your shade stone. As for the dark crystals, you'll find them all over Giza Plains. This stone right here beside me is one of the smaller ones. The bigger crystals have something inside that soaks up sunlight and shines really bright. See that one over there? If you take that shade stone I just gave you and bring it near one of those shining dark crystals, it will absorb the energy from it. There are four shining dark crystals in Giza right now. If you have trouble finding them, just stop and scan the horizon. There's no way to tell how much energy you can draw from one, any one crystal without trying. You shouldn't need to use all four, though. This gauge will show how much energy the shade stones absorbs. When it's full, you'll have yourself a sunstone. Once you've made the sunstone, bring it to me. I'll make sure it's up to snuff. I'll go ahead and mark the dark crystals on your map, too. See you back here when you're done. Fuck you, kid. I love that sound distortion. Hold the shade stone up to the, uh, to the crystal. Oh yeah, silly, thank you very much for watching the stream today. I would have understood if you didn't uh, have uh, the desire to. I know you're not feeling well. What's this? There's a hyena right there. Two hyenas? Who do they think they are? Check that. Alright. There's no crystal in this area? I thought there was. Well, apparently there is not. Okay. Sorry guys, I do like to kill things. It's... My usual Final Fantasy way of doing things. I won't go to the little nooks and crannies to kill everything, though. 
I will go over here and kill this hyena. However. Since everything's so easily killed, it's like... Giving up free XP if I don't go. Like I said before, I'm not gonna go kill any Giza rabbits. Damn owl tricks. Versa tricks. I think you're so cool. <laughs> I was targeting the wrong one. This just makes sure that my characters get a little stronger. And the good thing is, when you get a new character and you assign them a job, they get all of the LP that you didn't use. Or that you used on your other characters. Uh, so everything I'm killing now still has a benefit for the uh, new characters I get later. Eighty-five percent you sexy shit. Not bad. Maybe this won't take so long after all. So this is what the kids on the Giza plane do to make their way. Maybe one of them will take you on as an apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Let's just find the next crystal, okay? Little geezer rabbits that you can fight them. They give EXP and they give LP, but like I said, you hit them once, they run away, and chasing them down is a pain in the ass. Yeah, for sure, Marcel. I'm glad you're enjoying my stream. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. I apologize, I don't speak German, but I hope you can enjoy it nonetheless. I don't know the Dustia tricks, so probably not. I don't know too much about this game. Like I said uh, before, I've actually only played through this game the once, like... Having never beaten, or only beaten it the once. And I made it, like, a fair way through a number of other times, but... Uh, I usually I'd get sidetracked by a new game that came out, or something... Some other similar reason. We are almost done with the Sunstones, by the way. There's just a crystal over here I'm gonna go grab. Hyenas are so rude. Uh, when I kill this Ursatrix up here, it's going to uh, break the chain. Uh, the chain isn't that exciting. It just means you have a higher chance of items dropping, and when you pick up said items, they they can heal you. Just kind of neat.
There we go. That's that. Nothing to it. Let's take it back to Jin and see what he says. I hope he did it right. Sure, let's go. You obtained Sunstone. Hey, you got a Sunstone! Let me take it. Let's take a look. Hmm, seems okay to me. Not bad for city folk. So here's what happened. Masuya has always wanted us to stay away from werewolves, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest. See who's the bravest. Started out as a lark, but Tot said that none of us kids living on the plains should be scared of monsters. I guess I got a little carried away. Don't let any of the grubs know, though, okay? Anyway, my leg's feeling better now. Let's head back to the village. I'll raise ya. Try and keep up. Hello, Sissel. Look at birds. Roly poly birds. Jim made it back home safe and sound. He's a good boy, but his mind wanders. He never thinks of the worry it causes me. I'm sorry if he has any trouble. Please, take this with my thanks. 50 gill, potion, teleport stones, excellent. Jin gave you a sunstone, yes? Oh, maybe of some help to you. Yes, lady, it'll be of some help. I expected Masuya to get a little upset, but it seems like I really worried her. Maybe she was even madder than I thought she'd be. She just stood there, all quiet. Really had me scared. <laughs> I'm glad to see you uh, were able to find a sunstone for yourself. Heading back to Ramanastra so soon then? Come visit us whenever you like. We'll be here until the coming of the rains. Well, it looks like it has an itch on its back. Don't worry, they don't bite. These cocks just as like tame as can be. Aren't they just the fluffiest, cutest things you've ever seen? Look at this little one. He's so tiny. It stares at you with beady eyes. It looks like it wants to be left alone. Alright. Oh, look at this tiny one. It looks like it wants to tell you something. Then again, maybe not. This one's a big one. It looks hungry. It stares at you with beady eyes. It doesn't shy at your approach. It seems tame. Ah, birds. What are you doing here? I'm just a traveling moogle trying to scrape by. I should be here with while the dry holds, Koopo, but the monsters during the rains are scary too. The dry should last a while longer, but take care during the rains, Koopo. Those big lightning balls don't mess around. Check by a map, Koopo. A fine purchase, Koopo. You won't regret it. Moogle's honor. Heading back to Robin Astra. Yeah. Right, I win. Okay. Watch treasure just laying around. Oh, the third one there, cool. I right, talked to everyone here. They don't really change their lines. 
I'm gonna save out here again though, just because I don't want to run through the Giza Plains again. Alright. Yay, we're back in Lowtown. Hey, Vaughn. Hmm? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn? Try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. Ah, I see. Dusty can be found in the western desert so that it appears the HP of the group members falls below 10% then pull them with one phoenix feather dies when he died, one must instantly... Okay. Oh ho! So you've got the sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magics like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important, and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the Signet tile very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Alright, so this is Dalen says. Starhouse 5 is actually where we started the game with uh, Vaughn uh, when he was beating up rats. Only this time we're going in a different direction. <sighs> Squads 326 are in place. They stand ready. So far the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall we must ensure all our men are in place. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh, sorry Marcel, I uh, probably will not be doing that before I go in. 
Uh, I did this similarly before on another file, and I don't want to spend any time grinding or anything on stream. But I appreciate the uh, the thought. Yeah, that's fine. I uh, just don't want to spend the time doing it. <laughs> hey Van! I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I wanted you to go in first, so I waited for you to come before opening it. Well, that's one of the reasons I waited. The thing is, I'm going to need some special tools to open the door. going to need you to go fetch them for me. I know, I know. Not the most exciting thing to do, is it? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I've got everything I need to re ready to go. Hang on while I open it. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, that should do it. Huh? It's open! Now we've got a whole nother place to explore. Oh, I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. Don't tell them what's down there. It might come in handy. Excellent. Let's go mess around in the Gam Scythe waterway. I think this way leads to a dead end. We'll find out. There might be treasure. I generally do do a lot of overleveling, but uh, in this case, fuck off! I'm chasing you. I want that treasure chest. Anyway, uh, I generally do do a lot of overleveling, just not on stream. Why am I back in here? I guess it's saving again. I did not. It's a second nature. I don't mean to save, but I, when I run by a save crystal, it's like, hey, I gotta do this. But 
but the main purpose between my over leveling is just for the stream primarily. I mean, I do it in my normal games too, but in this case, stream wise, it's just makes it so that I can uh, continue to play. All right, now I'm getting my ass kicked by a bunch of rats. Rats that carry fire stones for some reason. Okay, give me a sec here. I just need to stop my recording and restart it before I go on. <laughs> 